Hey y'all, welcome back to Moonlight Hill Flower Farm. I've been promising you all that I would give you a whole tour. I've been showing you mostly just dahlias and just like a little circle around far away from the flower farm. We've just been really busy harvesting, making stuff, a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'm even out breath because I've been cutting flowers. But anyways, Gumfrina is the worst. I'll just tell you that. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I'm going to turn you all around here because this thing doesn't have a turnaround on the phone here. I've been using the phone a lot, so let me know if it's all right, if you all like it. I'm getting ready to start using the GoPro and our other camera here soon. And then my wife, she does all that editing and stuff. I don't edit anything in this, so this is raw footage. So take it easy on me. <laughs> but anyways, guys, it's just been super busy. We ain't had time to really sit down and edit and everything with my wife working lots of hours so anyways let's get into this video but anyways we're gonna start right here in front where the trellis is it is so beautiful with the um love and a puff right here that little wooden stick thing i made this past year we put the hog panels in this year in this archway and it has doors and then, like I said, this is what I call it is a hummingbird vine. There's pink, white, and reds. The red kind of looks like a hot pink in a way. As you can tell right here, it looks very hot pinkish. Look at that bumblebee. He's a giant guy. But anyways, these are all the hot pinks that you're seeing here. And then there's white. The water fountain, of course. It's always beautiful. And then here's the pinks right here in this marigold right here. If you could see, that is a pink. And here's some more pinks right here. Here's another little bumblebee. Bumblebees everywhere. Right here is where I put all of my um, bachelor buttons and this tire with this beautiful sunflower here that you could see. I just stuck one down in there. Look how massive the root is on that. It is huge, guys, huge. But these are the bachelor buttons. I had dark ones dark um the dark burgundy looking ones dark purple baby blues pinks all the colors um they're all going to seed as you could tell so i'll be saving seeds from these for next year there's marigolds and then there's a um also a banana i mean a banana oh my goodness guys a butterfly bush right here that i just put in this year and then up here kind of like died back for the year you see these little red things this is a here i'll get the exact name it's sensation um honeysuckle is what it's called but it's pretty much died back for the year it's getting these little red little berries on it i've never seen one to do this before unless i haven't i just don't remember when i was a kid but i don't think the honeysuckles out here do that i don't know but if you know put it on the comments i am from indiana Anyways, over here, we're starting to get our fall stuff out and Halloween stuff out. As you can see, I got the little scarecrows here. Here's some beautiful marigolds I saved from last year. Here's another honeysuckle, but it's the orangish purple. I mean, the pinkish orange one here. If you can see that, I'm sorry if you can't. I am on a cell phone. And we have the sunflowers. And then this is the um, Love and a Puff that I've been showing you guys. That I just admired the night before I showed you all a video of this. It is so beautiful, guys. So whimsical and bouquets. And then, of course, I got some uh, honeysuckle vine trying to... Not honeysuckle vine, but hummingbird vine trying to grow into it now. It's coming from over there over to here. <laughs> but anyways... It just gives it a little bit more of a flower effect. But there is little flowers on this. It's, they're very little, like baby's breath. Very beautiful. Like I said, very whimsical. I love putting them in bouquets. They last a long time in bouquets. They're awesome. You can also save seeds from them. Here is our beautiful sunflower field. <laughs> Doesn't look so beautiful now, right? We're at the end of the season here. We've been cutting a lot of the heads off. See saving it for next year's seeds a lot of these were from last year saving seeds and then i saved for birds also throughout the winter i won't let them sit here and eat all these seeds this spring this fall i mean i will wait and i'll put them in the greenhouse and i throw them out here when there's snow and it's cold so they have 
food all through the winter months. Here's some marigolds I threw in here. They're doing really pretty. They're lush. Little bumblebee there. They're so gorgeous. Here's a little sunflower still blooming. Little burgundy one. I didn't really do a lot of wild colors like I did last year, but next year I will. I'm probably going to keep this set up. I'm just going to add to it. Every year I add something new. This whole land will be flowers before y'all know it. <laughs> but anyways, let's go to the dahlias, guys. All right, guys. Here's this beautiful purple one. It has been a productive little guy. I do not know what the names are. These are yet. When I dig them up, I promise I will tell you all the names because the tags are hidden all under all this stuff. Next year, we're going to do something a little bit different. This was my first year doing a big production of dahlias, so <laughs> bear with me. We only uh, grew three dahlias last year, so this is a big difference in three dahlias. But this is one of our favorites here. So gorgeous. It's got like three tones, pink, burgundy, and purple, light purples, like a lavender. Here's our second favorite here. It's kind of like shaded, but it is so gorgeous. It's a pink. And then here's our second favorite here. Third favorite, I'm sorry. Pretty much they're all my favorites. There's really not a first one or a second one. Really, I really like this one too. It's got a purple and white hue. The tips are purple. So gorgeous, guys. So beautiful. Let me make sure I'm getting everything in the camera. I hope I am. It's kind of hard when you don't know, when you don't have a back screen. But anyways, here's one getting ready to bloom. This will be a first. I've never seen this one. It's a new one. And we have another one right here that hasn't bloomed just yet for some reason. And here's one that hasn't bloomed here yet. This will be a new one. It got kind of choked out by the weeds, but look how much it's jumped up since we've de-weeded all this, guys. All this. So beautiful. And a lot of people love this one right here. It is so, so gorgeous. So gorgeous. And it has actually been really productive. Really productive. And then a lot of people love this color in the weddings. It's a yellow, peaches, pink hue. I have lots of that one. That one has been a banger. Here's another one. It's pretty much, I think, the same flower. But it's so weird because every one looks different. Like this one looks darker. This one looks lighter, which I know this one's a newer bloom and that's a darker bloom. This one's pretty much dying off. But some of these blooms are so different than the other and it's the same plant. So beautiful. Here's some little pom-poms. I'm gonna order some more pom-poms next year. I didn't get as many of those this year than I did the big flowers. <clears throat> Here's a little seedling I did. Um, from here, from here, from this flower on is all seedlings that I did. This is where I got real weedy when we got really sick and I didn't get this side weeded. I got from here over done and I was gonna go the next day to do this and I couldn't get up off the couch, guys. I was so sick. All the kids were sick, it was horrible. But it is so cute. There's a little bumblebee. I'm sorry if I'm going fast. There's a lot to go over because this is going to be a kind of long. It might be too serious. I'm not for sure. But anyways, here's some more little pom-poms. This one little guy here has been very productive. Here's some dark burgundies here. So gorgeous. Some more here. This one's on the ground here, guys. Ugh. I'm trying to turn him over. It is very very dark and beautiful itself here's one from seed that i did which a lot of people get these guys here and these little nasty things that i did a video about here's another dahlia i think it's about the same as this one here that i did from seed don't know what that one's going to be but it's probably going to be the same there's another dahlia here it's blooming this is one of my favorites I did from seed this year. Ain't that a beaut? So beautiful. It's being productive now. Here's one blooming that's new to me also. 
that I did from seed. It's so awesome to see what you get from seedlings because it's just like you don't know what you're going to get, and it's so awesome. So um, I advise anybody to do seedlings. They're very easy. Dahlia seedlings if you don't want to buy the tubers. And make your own little dahlia. Here's one that has not bloomed yet. It's kind of like leaning over. This is a weed where I'm from, but I think people are growing this. I'm not for sure and what it's called, but it's actually really pretty in bouquets. It's a really pretty purple, light purple, blue color. All right, guys. Let's go on over here. This is where the calendula, zinnias, and most of my lavender I've been letting go. Pin cushions and all that good stuff. So the front row here is nothing but calendula. I've been pulling it, saving seeds. It goes all the way down, as you can tell. And then different types, the varieties of lavender. There is um, lemon basil here, the purple opal looking basil. It's like a tricolor of green and purple. Then you got the purple, darker purple. Um, Lavender, basil, am I saying lavender? Oh my goodness, purple. This is all basil. If I just said it was lavender, it's basil. <laughs> Too much going on guys. But this is lemon basil. You know what I'm saying, it's all basil. And then in behind it, the beautiful, big, luscious blooms you're seeing here are uh, zinnias. They mean, some of them need to be cut back. And then over there that there's no blooms they're pretty much all done those were african daisies all the beautifulness there is some african daisies actually right there if i can zoom in and show you all can't zoom okay can't zoom but anyways there is some over there but i'm trying to make this quick i do post pictures mostly daily this is the cinnamon basil right here. It's green, dark green with a purple flower. It is very beautiful. I'll be saving seeds from them to give away. Here is the pin cushions. I've been saving those and drying them. It's a little butterfly on there. Here's the baby pink ones. Orange, here's the whites. Some more white. Here's another type of pink, which is dying back. This in through here is um, Chinese lanterns. These will not produce any type of lantern until next year or three years from now is what I think I've read. Because um, I was wondering what I was doing wrong. I was like, okay, when's these things going to bloom? They're getting bigger, you know? Well, the first year, they do not bloom. So... Next year, I'm hoping these come back and will give us a beautiful show. Here's some Fever Few. I love Fever Few. It's very whimsical in your bouquets. I love it, love it, love it. We'll have this every year. Then we have some Sweet Anne here. Some of them didn't make it. Three of them didn't make it. And then we got some more coming in right in through here. This, I think, was supposed to be produced in the fall, and I didn't get it out until midsummer, but it's popping back, and I think it's going to give us some blooms this fall. I don't know. We'll see. This is all new to me, guys. Here is some more of the zinnias, beautiful little pink ones. Very beautiful, guys. I'm going to be saving some seeds. There is some yarrow back here that has not bloomed yet. I mean, you come back here and weed eat a little bit. This is one of the last bit. This is the bed that I pretty much don't come to that much unless I need some zinnias or some basil. I neglected this one mostly. Um, I came back here just to show you all what these beautiful things look like. These are the um, African daisies I was telling you all about. So beautiful. They got a beautiful dark purple center. It turns into white. Very luscious. Really beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Hey, Nova. What you doing, baby? Anyways, let's go over to the next strip. 
Alrighty guys, this is mostly dead. I wish I would have got out here and showed it all to you before it went to pretty much crap. But these will come back every year. This is my bed that comes back every year. Sorry for the distraction. We do live by a highway. But anyways, most of these are dead. These are my Rubecchias. Still gorgeous though to look at. Some of them's got some pretty blooms. That one's gorgeous. Which is dying though. We had all the types of Rubecchia besides the um, green twister one. Which is up there growing right now. Look at that praying mantis guys. Wow. Hello buddy. How are you? I've never seen a praying mantis gray. I've seen green. But not this gray camouflaged one. Wow. He's looking right at you guys. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to walk around him. I don't want to run into him. And then the two rows here is Yarrow. And these two rows are nothing but Rebecca. Like I said, a lot of it's dead. It's dying off. We have the green. Look how big those got. There's the beautiful Yarrow. We've had a storm, so it's kind of like blowing over. It's very beautiful. It goes all the way down with the Yarrow and Rebecca. Here's some that's not too bad. Really beautiful. But like I said, all this stuff will come back next year. Cross my fingers, I hope. But yeah. So, so beautiful. And also, you can put these in bouquets right here. You just knock off the leaves and you can use this little ball as a piece in your bouquets, dry bouquets, or you could spray paint them also. I've been doing that also. Put a little bit of a different color in. <laughs> Here's a little bitty one. <laughs> it's trying to sprout. But yeah, that is all the Rubecchia. Let me stand back here, show you what I've showed you so far. There's that and the sunflowers in the greenhouse. We just did this, now we're coming up here. This is where most of everything I have to grow every year. And most of this stuff is for dry flowers. Here's our trees we planted. A pear, two apples. We're getting ready to plant some um, elderberries out here. So they'll be big and lush. It'll try to knock off that highway noise here. Out the background. Because we've had people been parking on our driveway right here at night. Coming over here, stealing our flowers, guys. Stealing our flowers. And it's not cool. We have cameras out here. So we can zoom in. We've caught a couple, called the cops. So um, this is a dead end road here that we live on. My house is up there. There's the Roses of Sharon. We trimmed those back there, doing wonderful. And there's one down there. At the end of our um, land. Anyways, here is the celosia. Some of this is starting to go to seed. That's why I'm having to get out here and get what I can get for dry flowers. Because I do have another wedding to do. Here is some status ready for me to go. The more you cut this, the more you'll get. And I just love this stuff. Status is beautiful and it will always stay the color that you see right now. Very, very, very beautiful. Here is some yellow status. Really beautiful. It's got a really pretty yellow stem on it. A lot of people call this Celosia the Indian paint stick. Very beautiful red. And like I said, all this stuff dries to its true color. This might get a little bit darker, but not much. Then there's the pink paint sticks. Here's some more Celosia. This is actually different than the one I showed you down there. That one has a dark hue stem, dark purple leaves. This one has green leaves and um, green stemmed. And of course, all these bugs are chilling, mating on each other, doing their thing, having fun, having orgies. Sorry if you got kids to watch this channel, but hopefully they don't know what that word is. But you know, <laughs> I put this is not for kids. Because I have a mouth on me, I'm sorry. 
I am. I just can't help it. That's just who I am, and I'm not going to be fake. <laughs> but anyways, guys, here is the beautiful coral. Some people call it coral from the sea. Um, it's another celosia. I call it the brain. Pinky and the brain is the one I call this one. I'm getting ready actually to cut these. I should have cut them a long time ago, but I just wanted to see if I could get them to get taller, which they would have if I would have hit them a little harder with fertilizer. This year, I didn't hit nothing with fertilizer, guys. I have a whole jug of fertilizer. Didn't even use it. Didn't need it. Besides, <laughs> obviously, these needed it. That's the only thing that needed it. <laughs> I thought, I was like, did I buy the short variety or what's up? You know what I'm saying? So I'll research and it's just because they need a little bit more nutrients and more um, fertilizer than what you just have in your soil. And guys, I am sweating badly. Woo, it's a hot one. Anyways, on this side that I haven't showed you, this is nothing but Cosmos right in through here. All different colors, um, lemon, limes. Here's the dark burgundy which i will always have this one is beautiful i need to come out here and deadhead these because if you do guess what you get more blooms mostly like anything out here if you just uh ugh, these beat these but beetles are getting all over me guys they're horrible here's some more status the white here's some more purple very beautiful there's pinks there's yellows there's whites here is the beautiful, I don't know what this Losi is called, but it's got like a little pink tail right here. And the rest of it's white. It is so gorgeous. I love putting it in bouquets. It's very whimsical. I love it. I got to get some of this cut before it is too late, which it kind of is, but I'm going to still try. Here's another type of Celosia. I have different types. See, like this one's different. You think it looks the same, but it's not because look the two by each other they're not the same but they are gorgeous and I mean gorgeous I love these to dry they're so fun just like the gum farina the white is in full lush right now time to harvest kind of late but going to do it anyway <laughs> which I have lots of gum farina and you could probably see the amberith in the background here there is all types down through here, which a lot of it's been cut to dry because there's a lot of people wanting that in their weddings. All the, look at the butterflies. This is so beautiful, guys. And the gumfrinas, so gorgeous. The amberith, that's the um, hot biscuits amberith. We still got some lime, um, celosia here. Here's some beautiful status. And then we have some zinnias here, some pink zinnias. So gorgeous, guys. We're getting into the zinnias and the gum frina. So gorgeous. Um, the cosmos over there. And then we had straw flowers. I got all those cut. Here's some yellow balls. So fun. Winstical to put in bouquets. So beautiful. Some strawberry field gumfrina. All in through here. There's some straw flower. It's not done blooming yet. Then we get into the firework gumfrina is what I call it. It's really beautiful. It's got this pink with yellow dots at the end. It looks like another flower. It is so gorgeous, guys. So beautiful. I have all the um, zinnias that are called the um, Queen Lime series. They're so, so beautiful. Of course, more status, and then we turn into yellow balls right here. These are all yellow balls all down through here. Some more Queen Lime series. So gorgeous. Some more status. Strawfire, Gumfrina. Some white zinnias. There's butterflies flying around me everywhere. Some more gumfrina. Now, this gumfrina here, I'm not going to grow next year. It kind of reminds me of what we have growing here. It's called, um, oh, my goat seed it. Mm, forget what it's called, guys. I know you all know what I'm talking about. 
clover. That's what it looks like. It looks like clover, if I'm not mistaken. If I got it wrong, I'll tell you in another video I was wrong. But I'm pretty sure that's what it, the name of it is, clover. I think so, alfalfa or clover or something like that. I think it's clover. But anyways, that's what it looks like, and I don't like it really that much as a cut flower. But the rest of them, the hot pinks and the reds and the strawberries and the, all those other ones I just showed you, they I'm bringing back each year. I love them. Then here we have this green bean vine that I love so, 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 so much. It is so beautiful on um, in bouquets. So gorgeous. I don't know if you all could see it or not. So beautiful. The pink blooms on it with the dark green leaves with the purple veins in it so gorgeous that will be always one on our farm i'll be saving seeds from it very shortly see it's already starting to get beans on it see the beans they're purple pods here and i'll be saving seeds here there's some pods here trying to grow and then on this side, we have just a little bit of lavender that's starting to go to dry. Next year, that's going to be a big thing on our farm. We're going to be getting lots of lavender plants. I'm really excited about that. And then these zinnias here, guys, are the ones I saved from last year. Every one of them I saved from last year. And I will be saving more from this area. And over there, what I just showed you over there of the other zinnia patch but all these down through here i'll be saving not all of them that would take forever but <laughs> saving a lot of them here's the a lot of the double-headed cosmos there's a dark purple really burgundy color very beautiful and then we got some straw flower back here that's starting to bloom. I love the sound of it. Then we have some white cosmos here with a purple pinkish center. So gorgeous. Here's some more straw flower. Coming in. And like I said, the big gorgeous pink cosmos. I love those. And there's straw flowers in through here that's growing. Here's another one coming in. Some more. And it goes all the way down through here. The uh, straw flower does. And then these cosmos go all the way down with the amberith. That's mostly been cut, so I'm not going to show it to you. I took pictures of it. Lots of pictures posted on Facebook for you guys. But anyways, so beautiful, guys. Summer is over, and it is officially spring. I mean, fall. I keep saying spring. I wish it was spring. The reason why I keep saying spring is because we are now getting our spring bulbs in. Is why I keep saying spring. Because <laughs> right now, if you're a flower farmer, you need to be putting in your um, tulips and daffodils. All your cool flowers should go in now. Nova, come on, get out of the road. Even though it's a dead-end road, I don't want you out here in it. Over here, it's pretty much over with, guys. This is our little watermelons. That ain't gonna make it in time. Those ain't going to. There's a couple out here that's actually good that we're getting ready to pick and eat. Look at this beautiful rose here, guys. So beautiful. So, so beautiful. And we got some tomatoes trying to grow in it. Here's some nasturtiums. Some of them are trying to go to seed already. You can probably see the seeds forming. I'll be saving seeds from them. Here's some tomatoes my wife didn't take. They were rotted. Pretty gross. I got to get them thrown out. And we went through this and got the peppers and tomatoes out <clears throat> yesterday evening. Pretty much last night. It was late. And um, we'll just keep harvesting until the frost takes it, guys. And we're getting ready to do some um, canning salsa. I've been taking straw tomatoes off of here and freezing them until we had enough. My mom's didn't do too well this year. This is the snow mountain. It's going to seed. Still beautiful, though. Still lush. I love it. 
I actually cut some and dried it. It actually doesn't look too bad dry. Here's some little sunflowers. So pretty. Then back here is our corn. This is the glass gem corn. It is almost ready to pick. And when it is, I will do a video on it. And we also have bunches of um, eucalyptus. I've cut most of it to dry. I got to get in here and get this cut. I think there's four or five plants in here that I got to get cut before it gets too cold. It's time to cut it now. And then we had our peaches and cream down there in the sunflower field that I was showing you guys. But guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a long video. But until next time, have a fantastic day. And I'll be doing a video on saving seeds on lots of these plants. So make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, bye.